Okay, welcome to the heat study. <laughs> it came out really good. So the whole thing started when I'm doing this whole other project and I actually got the outside of a La Pavone. You know, I, you won't see the footage here, but it was so hot. It was just incredible. And uh, most of the heat was actually coming right up from here into it. It, it actually caused a catastrophic meltdown of the uh, gauge. And uh, there's the evidence. I have that on a whole nother thing, but yeah, look, it just melted this thing. So the outside got so hot, it melted this and the whole thing. And um, the one thing inside, the water inside, barely got warm enough to do any steam. Now, of course, there was a lot of heat coming under here and got the outside so hot because we know that the heat all travels this way. It doesn't really come from the inside and warm outward very much. So I was going, well, let's just think about that because now I know that the outside heat really doesn't penetrate all the way in from the outside of these. But that may be not anything conclusive, but you start to think. And I wanted to find a way to get the exact brew temperature. You know, I had the first time I used a thermometer where I had it run down the um, stock. But no, and, um, you know, run down the stock. Didn't really, you know, I kind of give you the right, but I was wondering, well, how do we get the exact? Do we have something that can run into the cup perfectly? And then you can still have the espresso and attach it underneath the brew head, and it, it all got complicated. So I wanted the simplest way and accurate. And so then here's the apparatus. It's a genius little thing. And um, I just discovered it by looking at other things, looking at flow through thermometers of different sizes and shapes and uh, this one is actually meant for brewing but it's really accurate and um, it had exactly what I wanted and I was good thinking that the, the, the espresso would come through down into the cup and you'd get a good um, reading that way but I realized the best way is I just plugged one in and um, this filled this it sits perfectly and you can just fill it right with espresso and get your temperature so that worked really good I was going to straighten this out, but um, yeah, God, they did such an epic job of sealing it. If you're really using this for what you were it was meant to do in line, um, it would be such a great part. It's a really good company. But anyway, that's so that's my reader. It's really accurate. And I did a lot of testing. I even warmed this up. Yeah, the apparatus is going to be um, great. Again, it's so simple and we're going to get the accurate espresso in the cup temperature. So that's what governs it, 160 to 165, and then you can add um, a certain amount. We'll see how you do that, and then you get your brew temp. So outside here can be warm or cold, we'll find out. But actually, once you see that the portafilter in, most of the brewing goes down here, where it's not even really in contact. The water comes up, goes in. It's not in direct contact because the outside of this can be super hot and the water inside not even near as warm. So we're going to find out. And uh, yeah, come along for the ride. This is going to be epic. Totally epic. Let's start the test. So we went ahead and did our research, which is just looking it up on the internet. But anyway, in your cup, 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the great espresso temp. So it's coming in 195 to 205 as your extraction in Fahrenheit. And simple math, you add 35 to 40, average it in there, and you can see what the uh, brew temperature is. You know, even the highest temperature that we may see today is still going to come out pretty good using that. So let's go ahead with Misty Blue. We're going to start with her. Um, 8 minutes, 20 seconds. She takes the longest to heat up. So let's go ahead and see what kind of espresso temp we're going to get here. Now we're going to make some discoveries here with Misty Blue too as we go along. So first one, 122. I start going, okay. Okay. Uh, maybe they come out a lot cooler than I ever thought of. So we went ahead a little longer and we got it up to 144. We're still not near the 160. So let's just see how long it would take this to heat up out here and do it. But we're going to discover that Misty Blue is the coolest machine. It's cool in one way, but cool in heating. It probably needs a new um, heating element. But after our longest heat up so far, we only got up to about 150. So we haven't hit that overheat. Everyone's saying about being brewed too hot and all of those things. So 
Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the next machine. Let's see how this, this is an old cap element. Pretty cool. On 9 minutes and 45 seconds. And let's go ahead. I, this one has a bottomless portafilter, which I think is um, probably easier. But let's see if that was the difference, if the spout maybe cooled it down or something. Who knows? But let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we first one, 150. So that's pretty good. Almost up to what the um, other one was. So now it's been on 17 minutes and 30 seconds. And what I had done is I switched the port of filter right after making the other one. You know, I got it out. So we're going to discover something about doing that side. 164. So that's pretty good. So that one's right in there, almost a perfect espresso temp. So let's just see after 35 minutes how much hotter it's going to be. Because now we've gone another 15 minutes and well we're just about perfect 160 that's the number i like to see but remember it's 160 to 165 in your cup so right now this one is performing and giving us 160 degrees fahrenheit so let's go ahead and do another one in an hour let that baby go and go right i never would leave it on this long but one hour long time going so let's see what go ahead and happen here. This has been out here running. 160 again. So this machine has been um, on for an hour. It's pretty darn warm and our espresso is really stabilized at about 160. One hour and 30 minutes. Pretty long time. Never would normally leave it on again that long, right? But let's see what happens. Lo and behold, yep. 160 again. So this older cap element outside has performed pretty good. I believe Misty Blue needs a new um, heating element. Let's go for another machine. Let's go on. We're going to go inside and let's just see here if it's a different 10 minutes steam off. Let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, temperature we'll get here. So we're we're doing a big comparison. So we found that the first espressos out were a little cooler than ones after a few minutes. So Miss Mars gives us a 146. So it is that is a cooler temperature on your first one. So let's leave her on for 20 minutes and we'll go ahead and put the porta filter in. And this is a brass one. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. The porta filter has been in for eight minutes this time. So that's we're going to see that that makes a big difference and our maximum temp was a little warm by one degree 166 for a couple seconds then it settled down but i'm still going to use the 166 for uh computations there but then again also we discovered the porta filter's been in so that's going to be something we're going to think about so let's go ahead and leave start one after an hour that's a lot of idling and Doing pretty good, not so hot as last time. That's funny. You would think it would be hotter, 162, right in that perfect zone. Um, the main difference was the porta filter sat and got to room temperature before I replaced it. Let's go for an hour and 25 minutes. Not quite an hour and a half, but I was anxious, so let's see what we got after that. There it is. Yep, 160. So it's getting better and better as we go. We're finding out that um, we're finding out that we're getting some pretty um, standard temperatures so far. So let's keep going now. Seven minutes. This is Miss Green Green Jeans. Let's see. So it's heat up time. Seven minutes. Does its big burst down to one. Then we go ahead and do it. And our first one, like all the machines, has been cooler. 148. So. That's maybe why if you have a dark roast, you like the first one better than the second. But anyway, let's go up to 16 minutes. See what we get here. Every, every one is not repeated. This one may be a little watery at the end and hot, but look, 158. So it's just under that perfect 160. Okay, let's switch to a bottomless, this different one. Let's see, one hour we had her going. 160. So I thought this machine would be my hottest, but look at that after an hour, we got the perfect, actually 158. We got the perfect espresso temp still going. Let's go ahead and do the fifth machine. Hardcore, a little cartoony just because of the glare, but anyway, seven minutes, 
That's where we have an average before it bursts, you know, not bursts, but goes off on two, and you go down to one, and there we are again. And what do we get in 25 minutes, almost a half hour? What do we got going? We'll find out here too what it does. And there, yeah, 164, right in that perfect zone. So we're kind of seeing that the La Pavone really does keep a pretty standard temperature once you get after about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and do this one. One hour. Let's see what we're going to get here. <laughs> this game pretty fun, but you know, who would know? I thought it would heat up quicker, but you know what? One, here we go, 160 again. So we're seeing that we have, number one, the pre-mills, really, once they've been on 20 minutes, they give you a perfect espresso temp, and it's going to be a simple thing to achieve that. Six machine. This one has a stainless steel element. All the others have had the brass. And this has a newer boiler. It has that coarse thread and has one of those pressure profiles. But they don't have anything to do with the heat. But heat it up a little quicker, six minutes. Let's go ahead and do our um, first one here. Let's see what we get off this one with the stainless steel heating element. So the first one, 150. Pretty good compared to many of the other ones. Let's go ahead and do the next one. I went right up to 30 minutes there. Let's see what we get after sitting for 30 minutes. It's creeping up pretty good. 164, so we're right in there, right in the 160 to 165. So we don't know, maybe the um, stainless steel keeps us a little warmer. Let's leave her on for an hour. And let's go ahead and do it again. Let's see what we get after it's been idling for an hour, which is much longer than I ever would again. But we just want to see how much warm. Now, the porta filter I put in for 15 minutes. So let's see what happens. 166, which is almost always consistent also with the porta filter that sat in for a while. But you can see that it gives you warmer and warmer espresso. There we go. Okay, we're doing another one. Uh, this is an early machine, but it does have the stainless steel um, heating element. Heat up pretty quick, seven minutes. So that's just the average. I think most of them have done right in there. Let's go ahead and see what our first espresso here is. 140, a little cooler than the uh, other boiler, but we don't know all the ramifications. Let's go with 25 minutes. Let's see what we get here. And we're good, 160. Perfect again. Here we go again. One hour. This baby's been idling there, heating for one hour. And we're going to see what espresso temp in the cup we're going to get here. Are we going to get the consistent 160 or a little hotter? Let's see what happens. A little bit past. Let's see if we stay within our 160. To, yep, 164. Right in, the, right in the slot. Every day, every time. So here we go. Let's do another one. An eighth machine. <laughs> we're going to give this an eight one. So they've all been doing almost the same thing. Let's go ahead with this machine. Uh, heat up time, 10 minutes. This Candido works pretty good. All right, there we go. What are we going to get out of here? Miss Candido. Looks pretty good. 152, pretty good. So we're still uh, cool in your first espresso. Super cool. Yeah, here we go, 20 minutes. About doubling the time, let's just see what we get right after 20 minutes, because I think that's going to be kind of the uh, magic point. 158, almost 160, but right there. So each machine may have a minute or two difference, but no, no, turn, I'm used to turning them off. Yeah, I don't leave them on this long, but let's go ahead and see what else we get. We can go a little longer, 30 minutes, half hour that's been idling. We got a nice foamy one going there, but let's go ahead and see what temperature we're going to get. She's climbing. I'm trying to do a diff little different angle. Who does this going? How many of these are you going to make? Anyhow, 162. Right in there, right at the uh, magic number. Almost every machine has had the exact same temperature. So we've been doing really good. Let's go ahead and take this baby to a full hour. She's getting really low on water. And let's just see what we can get after it's being on for an hour. Pull to... I put the porta filter in for 20 minutes, so let's see how warm it gets. 166, which is also consistent with putting your porta filter in and it gets hot or warm. 
in your basket. It brings up your temperature a little bit. Ninth machine, uh, original cap. This machine works pretty good. Did a seven minuter. Heat it up. So let's see what our first espresso is out of here. Some of these caps work really good. Some are, um, well, 140. So, you know, like, like the first ones are. They're just a little bit um, cool. So let's go ahead to the next one. We're going to go to 15 minutes here, just a little under 20. Let's see what that gives us. Nice little flow. Unrehearsed. These are all um, just done. Let's see what this second one gives us with this amount of time. And we're just about getting there. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Super cool. And 152. So it could be a little warmer and brew that espresso a little warmer. So let's go ahead up a little bit. We're going to go to 30 minutes and let's just see what happens. 30 minutes, pretty good time. 30 minute heat up. And well, <laughs> there we go again. So we're seeing it time and time again is that the La Pavoni delivers consistent espresso at the correct temperature into your cup. And I'm not doing anything on the brew head because that temperature doesn't matter. We're seeing that you can let this baby get warmer and warmer and leave it on. It's still going to give you the exact same espresso coming out. 160, there it is, one, an hour again. And we're figured out. So it's a simple thing and some people already know it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the 10th machine. We'll round her up with 10 and let's see what we got here. Okay, we're going to start this. We're just going to use a room temperature porta filter every time. We're not going to switch it and have it still be hot or warm from the one ahead of time. Because I think that is, we're going to see, a, oh, there's seven minutes. This is the goddess. She's running. I was going to do Doctor Who, but his switch, the switch on Doctor Who is messed up. But anyway, here we go. 150 for your first one. Consistent with everyone else. Let's do 20 minutes. 158. Could have been a little warmer, so we're going to go up to 30 minutes here. Let's see what that has. Going up, 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 up. And we'll find out. This is a hot one. Maybe not. I think we're going to get just about 160 again. Yep, 160. We've seen it time and again now, 10 machines. Consistently over and over, we're getting 160 to 165. If not, it's brewing on the low end of the temperature rather than the hotter end. So here we go again. Let's go ahead and see what this one. Just go ahead. Yeah, it's a nice little flow. It's trying to get a little angle. You can see a reflection. Um, I did rinse this one in the water so that it would cool down. 154 right in the sink and here we go. Okay, now we're going to do the cooled compared to a heated. So we've seen we got the same thing. So let's go ahead and see this. 45 minutes I left her on to heat up and this port filter I sat in there for 15 minutes prepared. So it's heated up for 15 minutes inside the machine. Let's see what temperature we get. Here it comes. 164. We're still within the um, 160, 165, but the hotter end of it. So this is a room temperature run. Just it's at the temperature in the room, not cooled or heated. So put in just before we pull and let's see what we get here. 162. So we averaged um, a couple degrees cooler by doing the room temperature. Now, just for the sake, I probably wouldn't do this all the time, but I put the porta filter in the freezer, cooled it down stuck a room temperature basket so they're all cool and cold when they went in, packed them up. So let's see what that does to the temperature just for the sake of it. 158, so we cooled it another two degrees. So what we've discovered, the main thing about controlling your La Pavone is your porta filter basket should both be at room temperature and you're always going to get an excellent brew temp and every and your espresso is going to come out good and that's after about 20 minutes your earlier ones well i'm going to do a whole show maybe we'll calibrate to see if you could warm up your porta filter and achieve that earlier but as you can see the times are going here um, after 20 minutes you have you almost always all the machine and from 20 minutes to one and a half hours 
consistent brew temp. So all those little things are easy. The brew, you don't need any of that thing on your outside and cooling it because it doesn't make a um, difference. Gives a perfect temp of espresso temp every time. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's just so epic. All right, that concluded the heat study. It came out pretty good. What we discovered, 20 minutes onward, using your portafilter at room temperature, basket room temperature, you're always going to get perfect espresso temp. You let this heat up, like if you do one espresso and then you depressurize and put this in and heat it back up um, and let it sit in there a while, the hotter this is, the hotter your espresso is going to brew. And we found that the first ones were always a bit cool. And once you hit 20 minutes, they all tended to be 160, as long as this was room temperature. So that's what we learned. Um, the outside of the brew head doesn't really, that temperature has nothing pertaining to the inside. You, we could have put something on there like I have and showed all these up and downs, but it doesn't matter. After about 20 minutes, almost every machine, um, it's gonna be perfect. Put a room temperature portafilter in there and you're gonna get a great express. So you wanna make another one, either have two or just cool this down in the sink water and make sure your basket's also cool because if those are hot again, it's gonna bring up your espresso temperature. But you might be able to um, adjust that and see that you wanna have a warmer brewing earlier. Maybe you can heat that, but it seems a little much trouble. And it may be why dark and medium dark roast, quite often people like in um, as the first espresso and maybe people who like medium or less like the second one better. I don't know, but that may be one of the factors in there because the medium might like to go a little hotter. But yeah, I did it again. So we're gonna go ahead and subscribe and all that. We got even more. We're gonna calibrate some heat experiments on if your sport filter is a little bit pre-warm, maybe in just hot water and see if that changes anything that much and all that stuff so it's going to be really good and then we have um, several other shows i have a another boiler adventure and we're going to have all about espresso and the cats you see all that but anyway this is the um, epic one all those rumors are dispelled you don't need a lot of that stuff um, all you have to do is cool your portable through the room temperature controls it, it there's no overheating uh, those are just things that get going but here it is the video that did it